The classic Ballista Ironsight from Black Ops 2 is back here in Modern Warfare 3 with the new Season 2 Reloaded update. Check it out. That was a headshot hit marker right there. Come on, bro. Ah, fuck, he's in lounge. No way he just ran. Oh my god, I just shot through that triple. That, oh, that's so tragic. So what's the difference between using the LMG and a assault rifle? They do the same fucking damage on this goddamn game. Go on, Ropey. What's going on guys, it's Rage, and once again, welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 3 for Season 2 Reloaded. So as you all saw by the intro of this video, we basically now have the Ballista Iron Sights here in Modern Warfare 3. Now currently at the time of recording this video at 1 o'clock in the morning on Friday, March 8th, the Iron Sights here on the XRK Stalker are still bugs. Sledgehammer is well aware of this, they posted it on their Reddit, I think the day of the Season 2 Reloaded update, saying that the Iron Sight was actually meant to also be an Armory unlock as well. And as of right now, the only way that it unlocks is really just at complete random, but I do have an idea or two that could help you guys out to try and unlock it. Now, I'm assuming most of you watching this video already have your stalker leveled up to 22. Now, if you're someone who doesn't, maybe once you do get it to level 22, it'll unlock for you. But again, assuming that you are someone that does already have it to level 22, and if it's still not unlocked for you, what it'll look like for you is if you come all the way down here to the end, it'll be behind the raptor scope. Now, because it's an armory unlock in this game, what you could try doing is still clicking on it, like clicking on it as if you're going to equip it. Because with the way that the armory system unlocks, if there's an attachment that you haven't already unlocked on this game, what you can do is just go ahead and select it, and it'll automatically queue up next in your armory unlocks. Now again, this is just a complete shot in the dark. I don't know exactly how many uh, games I had to win to get it to unlock, because again, it was just completely random. Usually the way that the armory unlocks work is that it'll have you win something like, I don't know, two, three, four, five games. So you could give that a go, try selecting it, and go ahead and win, I want to say, like maybe five games at the absolute most. Now also, there was a new weekly challenge challenge here that I did along with it. I don't think this has anything to do with it, but there is a weekly challenge that says to get 15 quickscope kills while using the new Jack Glassless optic. And it says equipped to a recommended weapon. Best way to get quickscope kills is obviously with snipers. The XRK Stalker is a recommended sniper. So I did this and I tried selecting the attachment and then just randomly after a couple of games on my live stream, I had it. There also was an update that did go out Thursday afternoon. Uh, I don't think that actually fixed the problem because at least according to Twitter, it's still very hit or miss for a lot of people. It's still at complete random. Considering the fact that again sledgehammer is well aware of this i'm sure it'll be fixed here very soon i did want to go ahead and cover that right here at the start of the video because i know that's going to be the the big question of the video is how do you even unlock the iron sight unfortunately as of right now it's at complete random now as far as the two new weapons that we got for the season two reloaded update we have a new battle rifle called the soa subverter which is honestly pretty solid honestly my favorite thing about this weapon is the fact that we finally got a classic red dot sight like this is like your classic call of duty red dot sight honestly the battle rifle is pretty good and we also now have the soul renderer which is a giant William Wallace looking sword. It's pretty brutal, honestly. You have two ways to swing it. If you right click with this thing out, it'll just do a quick slash. But if you left click with it, it'll do this animation where you chop your enemy's heads off. So I got the both of these leveled up. Haven't got gold for them just yet. Again, I'm still kind of debating if I really want to go through doing all of the uh, DLC weapon charms in this game. And of course, the new map that came in the reloaded update is Das House from our favorite game, Call of Duty Van Goated. Now also as well here, it says there's a free trial on the hardcore quick play playlist. I don't know if there's going to be a free trial weekend. It's currently double XP. I haven't seen anything else throughout the game that says it's a free trial weekend, but if it is, I'll let y'all know. Now, for those of you guys that played a lot of Vanguard, if you did the whole atomic grind, I'm sure you are very, very... I'm being assassinated. Oh, nice. He's got the level 1250 skin. I'm not alone. If you're someone who played a lot of Vanny G doing the camo challenges, I'm sure this looks very familiar to you. I'm really not gonna lie, though. I really like what they did with Das House here, like changing up the scenery, making it a lot brighter outside. I really do like this. It's nice. And also, if you guys didn't already know this, if you look off here into the distance, you guys are basically looking at the high-rise building, so that's kind of cool. Cool little detail. I don't know, just like the, the whole scenery of it really reminds me also of uh, Vertigo and Counter-Strike. 
Oh no, there was a triple there. I know I've talked about this a whole lot, and even in a recent video, I think I was yapping about this already, but when it comes to things like iron sight sniping, or again, anything that's basically less than a COD 4 ACOG at the 4X magnification, I am so trash with it. I never really got the hang of the whole like iron sight sniping thing, even going back to the Black Ops 2 day. No joke, I think my one clip of the Ballista iron sight was that one that I showed at the beginning of the video, which was like in 2014, 2015. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, is that uh, I'm not Exalt Doodle. I'm not Mr. Exalt Doodle that hits five on heads in Black Ops 2 free for all. That's not me, man. Seriously, if you guys don't know who Doodle is, you guys gotta go check him out. A lot of his old videos are insane. I feel like I might be thinking a little too deep into this, but I love that we have this in the game, just knowing that the next two Call of Duties are going to be Black Ops games. Current rumored Black Ops Golf War for 2024, and then of course the Black Ops 2 uh, sequel in 2025. It's so fitting to have a sniper that's practically the ballista. Now also, I don't think I already mentioned this, but uh, there is a new event in the game right now. We get the full shields camo if you get uh, 230, 240,000 XP. It's a part of the ongoing Dune event, and I think at some point as well, we're also supposed to have uh, something new for the Walking Dead as well. I don't want to go ahead and just throw on the basic Winds of Ash camo. It just looks like the BO2 Cherry Blossom. Actually, now that I'm remembering it, it was right here in this spot where I hit my very first Vanguard clip. I say clip in quotes. It was like a quad head, five on head times two or something like that with uh, all I know is split, but that ridiculous kill feed. I remember I was leveling up the Arasaka in that game, and I just hit that ridiculous headshot clip. It's not really a ridiculous headshot clip. I mean, it was split. Split, spawn trap, I know, absolutely garbage, throwing it right back in the recycling bin. I feel like to a lot of people that really did spend a whole lot of time playing Vanguard, and for me especially, as someone who, you know, did the camo grind in that game as well, Doss House was a really nice map, especially when playing Blitz as well. It was just a really nice map to have, along with Shipment and doing the camo grind. Really small, chaotic map. It was fun, honestly. It's one thing about Vanguard that I truly do miss was the Blitz pacing option. I thought it just added a whole new dynamic to the game. It added a whole new dynamic to the game that just went a little bit further than your typical, oh, we're just playing ground war 9v9 10v10 whatever i still think it would be a really cool thing to have even in this game like on the original mw2 maps i think it would be so cool to have blitz pacing do something crazy like 15v15 or even something like 20v20 on maps like wasteland or derail i'm curious if the maps can support that now uh, i also do know that with the season 2 reloaded update they did take out 10v10 in place of 12v12 and i think they took out high rise and another map out of it i want to say it was high rise and scrapyard but i'm gonna have to look at the map list here in just a moment given where we're at right now in the game's life cycle. It's just been about now five or so months since the game has come out. I'm still very curious and honestly really hopeful to see if they would still uh, try that kind of thing, like implement the testing, see if it's possible to have that kind of blitz pacing on those maps, messing with more of the player counts on each maps, you know, really seeing what the potential of the OG MW2 maps are in this game. But also at the same time, though, I would kind of understand if it's not a priority, it would just be really cool to see if they could do it, though. I'm just saying, though, I think it would be awesome if we could have something like uh, 20v20, 15v15 on some Something like derail or wasteland. It'd be cool to see. I'm obviously no game developer. I don't know what goes into the uh, testing phases of this, but why not, man? Throw every map in 12v12. Why not? Talking about derail and yeah, here we go. All right, Dom derail. I'll definitely say this though. With the way that Modern Warfare 3 plays and the different ways that they've changed up the player counts and the playlist, it really does give a brand new feel to, again, some of the more unpopular maps here in Modern Warfare 2. There are so many people that I know that I talk to on a near daily basis that I know would just instantly back out of derail. It's okay. If you're someone who would back out of derail, Tell me that in the comments. It's okay. I completely understand if you are someone who would just instantly back out of derail or a state, wasteland, no matter the game mode. Which I'm gonna just say though, if you're backing out of these maps, especially on a game mode like Hardpoint, you are sleeping on them. But what I really do appreciate about it is just the fact that it just gives such a new feeling and appreciation for these maps. Because yeah, derail here is not a perfect map. I was trying so hard to get that advanced UAV. The unpopular maps, I understand, are unpopular for good reasons. But just by simply adding more players to the mix, it gives it such a new feel, and I love it. Now, of course, one thing that I've talked a whole lot about is the fact that I, again, just wish that attack inserts weren't a field upgrade. Attack inserts would help out so much of just almost always keeping yourself in the fight, kind of slowing down the recharge, or really just taking them away and making them a field upgrade has kind of slowed it down a lot, especially on a map like Derail here. It really is, like, the one downside of having to play these maps, because it's like you are but you aren't playing the game a lot of the time with tack inserts if you're someone who's used to it. See, me and my mindset has always been just go, 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 always running tacks, always trying to keep my tack close to the enemy spawn, keep myself in the fight. It's one of the very few things at this point in time that I would really like to see get changed with Modern Warfare 3 if it were to even be a possibility. Like, just try it, just for a little bit. Bring in like a Modern Warfare 2 Remastered-esque uh, experimental playlist. Take things that were once equipment that are now field upgrades, put them back as equipment, change up some things like that. I, I don't know, I think it'd be really cool to see. 12 12 term dom action that's what i'm talking about
Oh yeah, and also with the Season 2 Reloaded update, they did finally fix the Hans Zimmer pack, so I'm happy about that too. See, you just had to jump out of the lineup, dog. Why? No idea why that was so funny to me. Like, I was just sitting there shooting like, wait, why don't I just go line them up real quick? Alright, ignore that. Three, two, one. No one in the plank for me again, of course. See ya. Why? 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 Dude, I'm so annoyed with myself. Of course I die like that. That was a little tragic, unfortunately. Dropped 56 kills, but just was on the receiving end. I think on that note, though, I'm good. Again, I've said it before, I'll say it again. The whole, like, anything less than a 4X, I'm not really that great with. Iron Sight sniping is fun, but not really my thing. Definitely works a lot better on smaller maps. It's uh, not the brightest idea to be using it on D-Rail, but whatever. Still is a whole lot of fun, though. Now, whenever Sledgehammer does update it, I'll probably go ahead and just uh, leave a pinned comment saying, hey, by the way, it's fixed now. You guys should be good to go. But again, as of right now, it hasn't been fixed yet, but I'm assuming it's going to happen very soon. So with that all being said, though, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Rage, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.